Okay, so looking at what went wrong, even before it starts going wrong. So what move are we making that is wrong? And then how can we build on that wrongness and try and make it right before it's wrong? <laughs> I like messing about. So attacking the queen, that's pretty straightforward. That seems right to me. So the expectation again is where we're not doing the searching for loss thing, but we're trying to get this reality check of preparing for the over the board um, tournaments. And we are the 50-50 man, and we've been the 50-50 man for years. We are slowly developing our um, game, but we're being realistic with what we're attempting to do. I don't want to constantly keep winning online because you look at the tally, you go, well, you know, you should be winning these um, over the board tournaments, shouldn't you? No, these guys need to up the game. I won't say any particular countries, but um, maybe they need to come on and start kicking my butt a little bit just to wake me up. So he's attacking our queen. Okay, so was that wrong or was it right? If we move here, his bishop takes the pawn and then goes back again. Um, takes the pawn anyway. There's nothing else that can go in front apart from the knight, but then he gets the knight for free. So there was a bit of wrongness there, turning it into maybe a rightness here with a check on the king. So it's the washing machine again going. And so there's a win and then there's not a win, because potentially he may have to move his knight. So if we take them on the rook so he has moved the knight so if we take his rook then goes to safety so he's got a bit of cleverness going to him and we're not going to be able to castle really but we're going to go and attack the rook anyway and then the rook comes here because he's got the support of the knight so then he's going to be pressuring this pawn so we could take inward uh, just take a pawn here we know this pawn's going, yep, so he's quickly gone for that. So that makes sense. Um, could develop the knight out. I don't really think. Let's go with this. Uh, I need to jump out of narration mode. So this position here is a totally weird position now. It's um, totally out of my, my zone whatsoever. Not castled king's still in the center of the board queen's on the other side of the board looks a little bit crazy he's putting a check on the king is the knight got anything uh, bishop's got something protection here queen could come down but the knight will take so it looks like it's the bishop coming here just supporting for now um, the wrongness to try and make it right it's all a bit scrappy, but it looks like we might be able to get castle. Oh, he's uh, put a 2 on one type thing. Knight is protecting. Bishop can't take back. Uh, so if we went and castled, then his bishop will be able to take. So I might have to bring the queen into the game somehow. I don't think I can squeeze it in. So is it going to be a threat? Bring the knight up. Knight attacking the queen and also defending the bishop. Gonna bring the knight up. Knight doesn't have any protection on, so he could move across here. But if they did that, we can take the poor bishop here. So it's all looking a little bit funky. We're putting pressure on a higher piece. I suppose that's winning us a, a little bit of a tempo. So that might work for us. Again, I'm. In my head, I'm thinking, I'm not actually playing this to win. I'm just playing this to practice some moves. <laughs> um, okay, so that's a nice touch because he's attacking the pawn here. We could go and castle because now his two on one has gone. So we could castle protecting the pawn. If the bishop takes, we've got like two knights that can actually take. Is there anything else? There's, I don't think there's anything else. I mean, we could just simply take and then his queen comes here, but then he's sort of stopping us from castling. Then he's on our knight as well. So I think I'm going to go and castle. I think that looks okay to me. 
unless the more times out of ten it's when the opponent shows you that you've done a wrong move because I can do my calculation and feel really confident that yeah this is um, the right thing for me sounding really good oh okay this knight doesn't have any protection so I'm probably better taken with this knight would that make sense although I do really like the position of this knight because it's really high up here could start attacking the rook I think that's the only thing I'm thinking so I think if I take with this one he's going to be moving his knight anyway isn't he let's just take with this one with potential sites of attacking their rook here he's going to be trying to get his knights out his queen is opposite our king so we have to be mindful of that but it can't do anything at the moment it doesn't look like So poor bishop is stuck on the back protecting these pawns that's not really a good position but we've had to deal with a bit of movement so it's opened so the knight does actually want to go here anyway so it's almost like giving us permission to go and jump up so it's a big move he's opened up for his uh, dark square bishop I'm actually going to attack like we said that's where we wanted the knight to go it's also on the pawn as well but the focal pawn Oh, nice touch. Did you see that? Wow, how fast he's got the support of the... Um, oh, dear me. This is what I'm saying. It's the, the opponent that shows you that you've done the wrong move. I'm actually going to take the pawn here. We're still on the rook at the moment yeah so yeah this is when you watch like um you know the high level players as well you know they do all the calculations and stuff and um they believe they're doing the right move so the bishop's now attacking the queen wow okay okay so it's putting pressure on i don't think we're getting that am i is my queen getting trapped looks like it might be getting trapped it's moving very quick all of a sudden though, isn't it really? Um, okay, so he's got support of his knight. Can't put a check on his king. Uh, can come to safety here. There's no point going here because his bi dark square bishop's jumping all over us. Could come here. So two white squares that we can go to. Which is the better one? This one's got access to here if his rook decides to uh, move down this one's got an x-ray through to the king but there's nothing supporting that attack so I think the smaller one coming here then coming here maybe But we've got to be so careful because he could be getting some angles with his queen. He's not got that just yet. Uh, what did they say? A small one here. Oh, also, he's got his knight as well. Rook's probably coming. Oh, he's got my rook knight. Ah, oh, man, if he goes there, I'll have to put a check on the king. He moves, then. Oh, I don't like the look of that. Oh, man just as I placed it down oh, just focus so much on getting the queen safe come on come on he's got me all in a flap attacking me constantly with the bishop but I'm still on his rook so his rook has to find something positive that looks like a positive but I suppose and then maybe the knight comes and blocks but we're defending the knight but is my queen getting trapped oh scary times oh you know what I'm opposite his queen as well oh that's even worse he's gonna get a two on one I suppose we've still got the check haven't we my queen is getting trapped my pieces aren't even out properly oh sad times maybe I should have just come here but no then the bishop's just doing that 
Right, I'm not doing any more thinking now. Just gonna sit and wait and wait for the opponent to show my wrongness and I've got to try and make it right. Look at them, chomping at the bit. Somehow, Queen is here. Does he move the knight? No, I don't, well, I don't think he's gonna do that. He's got to move this knight. He wants to go and castle, get the two rooks licked up and then my queen's getting trapped, so I need to get my queen moved. Oh, I'm in panic mode now. Yeah, that does not look good. That does not look good. But we need to be looting, we need to be playing realistic games, don't we? Yeah, or we need to be losing or drawing or something, you know, it's um, I'm definitely getting fed up of doing the, getting these wins. I'm like, no, this isn't real. I know I keep saying it, but you've got to be realistic in your training. Um, I know there's a few players that probably are happy just winning online and feeling comfortable, but then when they come to playing over the board, um, they're either not winning the game or they're struggling to get a win or they're just getting maybe a few draws so you have to be realistic when you're doing these things but like I've said I don't want to get blown out of the water playing somebody who's using an engine I want to play a human who is going to make human errors like I make human errors and have a really good game because then you can develop a lot better that way I cannot beat a computer, so there's no point in being too clinical with me. It's like, wait, steady up. Bishop's gone back protecting the rook, but he's also looking for this diagonal somehow, some way, causing some problems here. So they've put a lot of thought into that. He's also blocked the my queen accessing. I'm going to take the rook. When the bishop takes, we take the queen. Or we can slide in here, don't forget, with a check, but that might just, yeah. Oh, the knight's gone. So we can't slide in there with the check because the bishops protect him. And then when the king goes there, we, there's no more checks, really. Uh, we can't even take the bishop either. Oh, that was a bit slick, wasn't it? Get a check here. My pieces aren't even out. That was a bit slick. Um, bah, 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 bah. Maybe I ignore the checks and just bring my queen down and attack his. No, oh, I can't go there. Nothing supporting. Damn. Okay. So we have to move the queen. Usually is checks first anyway, isn't it? So we could just bring it here, put a check on. I'm trying to get his queen off the ball, but I don't think they're going to give it up either. All right, put a check on. Let's see if we can get some bit of piece out, maybe a bishop or something. It's defending. Get the queen across to the other. Um, put the check on. He just comes back again with the knight. Or he drops his king this time. So then, if he drops his king, we come here. It's a lot of movement with the queen, dude, isn't it? Maybe we save that. Open up the bishop. Open up the bishop, attack the bishop. He's still focused here, isn't he? Come on, dude, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What's the right thing to do? Let's open up the bishop, get more pieces in the game. Maybe bring this knight here. What is that actually doing? need to open 
the bishop with a potential push 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 as well oh uh, what he moved there quick what did he even think about that what bring the knight across with the support from the pawn so he looks like he's changed his trajectory because he was looking towards my king area but is he getting scared of my pawns being pushed up it's like my bishop's going to be stuck there forever isn't it so we're going to go for slow moves like coming up here it's got a 2 on 1 on this pawn so we could move queen takes knight takes What else is he going for? Yeah, we could move. Don't narrate it. We could move. Where is he going? Rook's protected. Pawn's protected. Knight's protected. His queen isn't protected, so he's going to have to move. There's no checks on my king, so we can move. And take with the knight. We are looking to trade that queen off, but I don't think he's going to be interested in any of that. He's probably going to be protecting his... Yeah, he's gone round the side, okay. Alright, so that's given us a little bit of scope to bring the bishop, like we said, attacking the bishop here. Oh, but then his knight can come and block, can't it? His knight can come and block. Ah, right, get the rooks involved maybe as well behind this pawn and push. Yeah, his knight's going to come there actually now and attack the queen. So if we moved our knight here, then we could take the knight. He's going to just push the pawn down. This, ooh, the, we're on his bishop though, so knights hunt the bishops. Let's do that. I was just about to say this is an exciting game actually but I'm holding my breath now because we never know what's going to happen so for a brief moment it felt like we made the opponent think and they had to reposition whereas I felt that they had a little bit of strength with the Queen and I thought they were going to be pushing down here but now they're bringing all that he's put his Bishop in front of his Queen Can we bring, oh sorry, can we go here and then go here? Because the bishop's obviously going to be stopping the king from castling. Can we go here? Our queen's on the white square to attack the bishop. He doesn't have to wear them, I suppose he can go here. But that feels like a nice position for the bishop. Like I said, oh his knight's going to be coming here in the, even. Damn, his knight can go everywhere attacking my queen. Okay, let's go here. We might change our mind and go here. Got a fork on his queen and the king. So the bishop has to take. So I'm happy to trade down just to get rid of some of his pieces. If that works out. But I think he's going to beat us to the punch. Mm. So where do we go from there? So if the knight goes here, there... We can just simply go here, but then he can go here chasing us down. But if he does that, Queen can go here, and I think that's probably checkmate, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. There. There. feeling funky and round the back oh it's not that silly checkmate no because his king can come here but then we can get the queen off the board at least right okay 
I don't know if they're going to follow that, but if they do that, then that's a straightforward process for us as far as I can see. I believe the knight is definitely coming here anyway, but then I don't really know what they'll do after that. I'm hoping that they chase the queen down, but they probably won't. Woo! Wow, okay, yeah, nice one so far ish. Uh, there's still a lot of play at least we can potentially get the rooks involved as well maybe not that rook get this rook involved here facing off the queen if we can he must be in a bit of a panic so I think he's probably going to bring the knight blocking here so that he can go and castle but if he goes and castles the bishop takes the knight so that might be a bit of an issue so if does he go here oh then I don't really want to be taking that let's go here brain's going into overload right I need to stop I need to just wait for the opponent now I might have to pause because they're taking a while now I've done all my thinking yep so they've gone for the knight move like we said so we were going to be going here I'm just looking quickly to see if there's a bishop move without actually being taken. No, okay, so does he then bring the knight here? Oh yeah, he probably does, but then if he does, then it's checkmate then, isn't it? So we're going to continue with that, and what we said was if they go here, then we can sink it here to get the queen off the board because he's got safety here. That's right, isn't it? Yep. It's got to remember the calculation that we calculated to make sure the calculation is the calculation that we calculated and then make the move. Something like that. So like I said, I don't really know what he's going to do from here. Does he move his queen to disturb stuff? Not sure. He must be really wanting to get this knight out. Yeah, he's moved his queen to get... Mm. Yeah, so that his queen doesn't get taken. Interesting. Yes. So we could put the check on. His king comes here. And then we get his queen off the board because the knight will put a fork on the king and the queen. Oh! <gasps> Oh, that is beautiful, isn't it? Am I seeing this? Come on. Check on the king. King can't... There's nothing else that can block that. He has to go here. There's no bishop taking the knight. Oh, I've got to do it. Got to do it. Yeah. Oh, shabba. Oh, in fact... It's checkmate! <laughs> and that's why I was in the Queen.